Well, you know, it's not always easy to get fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. What if those healthy foods were growing right in your own backyard? That's exactly what one nursery owner here in Jacksonville is working on. On your side, Brianna Ray Turner has a closer look at how you can, quote, eat your yard. An edible farm right here in Northwest Jacksonville growing things you can't even imagine. Now the goal of this organization is to educate others about growing their food in their own backyard. Tim Armstrong was a steel worker for most of his life, but always knew he had a passion for plants and the outdoors. I love to go to farms and see uh, the different unusual things that you can grow and attempt to, to grow them myself. And so I share a lot of those uh, through myself here at the farm. Growing up, he says he learned how to grow food from past family generations. And they were subsistence farmers. I mean, they farmed not because they liked to farm or because it was healthier for them. It was because, you know, that's what they had to do to survive. Armstrong got his first nursery in 2008, and since then, business has skyrocketed. Folks kept asking me, oh, you know, you got such a cool farm. Why don't you start opening it to the public? And, you know, can I take my school group there? That's when Eat Your Yard Jacks was created. 40 acres of land, over a thousand plants with about 500 varieties. And I spent about a year just getting infrastructure in, getting the road in, getting power in because there was no clearing, there was no way to get in. Deidre Rando has been a volunteer at Eat Your Yard Jacks for years and dreams of having a farm just like this one. I just love um, the, the, the versatility, the, ed the edibleness of so many plants that most people don't really know about. Tomorrow, Randa will be hosting a workshop at 10 a.m. teaching others how to plant mushrooms. Everybody should, should know how to grow their own food and know, know the connection that and the, and the peace that growing your own food and owning your own land is, is about, you know. People have gotten away from it uh, for quite a number of years, and now what comes around goes around. People are seeming to to get interested in it again and for good reasons. In Jacksonville, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. That's a good idea. Well